Howdy y'all, Banjo Ben here with BanjoBenClark.com. Great lesson for you today, it's all about finger picks. Now we have another video where I show you how to wear your finger picks and how to size them and shape them for your fingers. Today's all about the different kinds of finger picks. If you've looked at finger picks at all, you realize that there are tons of different kinds. And I remember when I first started playing, it was a bit overwhelming because what kind should I get? What thickness, what shape, what material? So today, I'm going to get my good buddy, Adam Ash. We call him the Gadget Guru. He works down at my general store, and he's a banjo pick expert. We're going to get him to walk you through all the different variations of finger picks and tell you the advantages and disadvantages of the different variations. So we'll start with what kind of material might you use? Should you use brass or stainless or nickel silver or others? Um, what thickness a pick? And what's the advantages of having a thicker pick versus a thinner pick? What about the blade angle? What kind of curvature should you look for? Also, what shape and what size as far as the band? You know, the band's the part that goes around your finger. Do you, do you want the kind with holes in it? Do you want double band, single band? Ultimately, it's going to boil down to what fits your playing style, your finger shape, and your comfort level the most. But we can help you at least be educated on what all's out there. So I'd like to introduce Mr. Adam Ash. Take it away, Adam. Howdy, folks. Adam Ash here from the Banjo Ben General Store. And today we're going to talk about finger picks. And there's different style, different types, uh, shapes, materials, um, all of that. So we're going to kind of go through all of that so you have an idea of what you're looking for when you go to buy a set of finger picks. First, I'm going to talk about nickel silver. These are probably the most popular um, material a finger pick out there um, there's different brands uh, national np2s um, dunlop um, they though those are both a very popular um, nickel silver finger pick and the old nationals that uh, people used years ago um, were nickel silver um, so that has carried over that still seems to be one of the more popular choices for material. The next one is the stainless steel. And for banjo players, that's probably the second most popular. It is a little bit harder material than the nickel silver. So some people will find that it gets a little bit brighter tone. Uh, doesn't, um, you know, have as much, um, well, it's just a harder material. So it also seems to hold up a little bit better. Uh, I know myself um, in using nickel silver, at times I'll, I'll get uh, little pieces of the pick will eventually kind of start flaking off the edges. And the stainless steel seems to hold up a little bit better in that respect. Lastly, I'm gonna talk about brass. Um, the brass is probably the least uh, used for banjo at least. Um, it's a softer material. Some people will find that it uh, gets a, uh, a little bit warmer tone with less pick noise. And um, it's generally, I think, used more by dobro players um, than banjo players. Uh, but some banjo players use it as well. So I'm going to kind of give you a little demonstration here of each pick, uh, what it sounds like. Um, I'll use each, each type, each material, and you can just kind of hear what it sounds like. I'm going to demonstrate each um, type of each type of material <clears throat> that we've talked about. And uh, I'm using national NP2s. I'm going to switch them out and put them on the same finger, pick the same string. So that's really all that I'm changing up is I'm changing the different materials. So you'll hear each one of them separately. Here first is a National NP2 in nickel silver. change here real quick to a stainless steel 
National NP2, same thickness, um, same everything. I even tried to match the angle of the pick blade uh, very well, putting it on the same finger, same string again. Now I'm changing to the brass. Once again, National NP2. It's just a different material, just brass this time. Same pick, or same finger, same string. Okay, so that was the three different materials, nickel silver, stainless steel, and brass. Now there are a few other less common materials out there. For instance, uh, Bob Perry picks uses a cobalt plating um, that's, that's very nice. It's good for people that maybe have a nickel allergy. Um, it also is supposed to help reduce pick noise and um, it's supposed to be good, uh, get a good grip on your finger. Also, um, one thing to mention about these as well is that each person's attack on a, on the string is going to be a little bit different. The angle that you attack the string from is going to be a little bit different. So, you know, a different material, uh, may work differently for, uh, different people, um, just from that respect, I was picking the string pretty, pretty flat, um, and, you know, pretty, pretty straight on. Uh, some people might tend to angle a little bit more and catch more of the, the edge of the pick, and that, that can affect, um, the, just the general sound that you're going to get out of all the picks.